Andy, that's an important victory, game you had to win. Never quite comfortable until the last few minutes, was it? Yeah, it was, to be honest, it was never comfortable. Um, you know, we've played better this season, of course we have, but, uh, you know, we took our chances at the right time, I think. We always felt kind of in control. Um, don't really remember Alison having, you know, much saves to make. And, you know, we had a few chances, um, you know, and obviously this man put two away. You know, he's unstoppable just now. And, um, you know, when you've got people playing with that confidence in, we always believe that we can score goals. Yes, goal scorer. That's what you are now, Diogo. That first one dropped nicely for you. Uh, yeah, I think uh, I always try to, to get in those uh, decisive spaces. Uh, I was lucky enough for the ball to, to be there right time, put it in. Important always to, to score first. It gives us uh, always a bit more confidence. And then, uh, yeah, never easy, but we killed the game uh, yeah. right in the end. Yeah, you, you've got the knack of just being in the right place at the right time at the moment. So it's, it's, what is it now? 17 goals this season, 12 in the Premier League. That's pretty, that's pretty good. Yeah, obviously, it's my, my best so far. I want to keep adding, keep helping the team. That's uh, the most important. Yeah, when, we, when you joined, there was a lot of talk about how you would get into the side, break into the, that front three. The goals have answered that, haven't they? Well, yeah, obviously established uh, front three, but uh, I think we always need to try to, to improve. Uh, we have more options now. I think it's good for, for, for the team. Uh, we have a lot of games. Everyone will be important at some point. Yeah, and Thiago scored two. You hit the post. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If, does it look nasty for a while? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, I wasn't, uh, wasn't really sure what had happened for the next couple of minutes, but, uh, you know, I've maybe not got the, the goal scored knack that this man does. But, um, yeah, look, like I said, the important one for us, clean sheet, two goals, and, um, yeah, we move on now. And the beginning of a, an interesting partnership on the left side, Diaz is electric. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, my, my Spanish isn't great. I don't think his Scottish is, is, is quite up to scratch, but we made it work today. Um, obviously, you know, my partnership with Sadio over the last five years has, um, you know, been, you know, it's been special what playing with him and he'll come back full of confidence, you know, winning a, winning a major trophy for his, for his country. And like Jot said, you know, we've got options and, um, you know, that's the most important thing. You know, we've got options to bring off the bench. You've seen, you know, a really strong bench today. Um, Hendo just missed out. We've got Sadio still to come back. You know, a couple of lads get left out, but you know that's what we've you know we've got competition all over the park, and yeah. it will keep pushing each other. And we'll keep putting pressure on each other, and um, you know if that is and, and training and everything, then you know hopefully the results keep on coming. Yeah, I think the boys were struck by the fact he's aggressive. He's got pace. He seemed an ideal sort of Liverpool fit. Uh, well, you know, his first training session, I seen him flying about, and I thought, yeah, he's he'll be he'll be okay here. Um, but yeah, look, we just need to let him bed in. He's still he's still got you know obviously the language to to hopefully pick up and the way we play and everything. But I thought for for his first start, I thought it was excellent today. I thought I thought everyone was really important today. But you know, him flying into tackles and stuff, that's one way to get you know the crowd to love this, love you straight away. And you know, I think they really took him. Keeps Manchester City honest. I'm going to be saying this for the next few weeks, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, look, the, the same questions are, you know, kind of getting asked and, you know, we the only way we can answer them is by getting results. We just need to keep on picking up three points. The gap's still, you know, too big. Uh, Man City are still in the driving seat, but we just need to keep putting pressure on them. Obviously, they won yesterday and um, it was important that we tried to follow up. So we've just got to look after ourselves. We're in still, you know, we're still fighting for four competitions. It's going to be an exciting run in, hopefully. We've got a lot of games, a lot of competitions coming up and, you know, as long as we keep playing with the, the confidence we're playing with, then, you know, I believe that we can keep winning.